Linda. Glad to have you back. Today I just finished up a painting I'm calling Sunset Glow. And yes, it really is glowing. Fiery red sky, beautiful reflections in the lake, little building, few buildings in the back, some pine trees, lots of reflections. I know you're going to love to paint this one, so I hope you can follow me. Pause and paint. So let's get started. Prussian blue, black, alizarin crimson, yellow ochre, cad yellow, and red. And I have prepared my canvas with liquid white all over, just a thin coat. You don't need a lot there. Now I've started uh, toward the top there with cad yellow, making a couple of yellow areas there for the sun sunset. And now I'm taking straight red and I'm going all around that yellow. Just brushing the neck strokes. And pulling straight down, along, about halfway down, I'm going to make that the horizon line. So I'll be brushing straight down about that far right there by the halfway mark. And I'm going to just keep going around with the red. And brushing straight down. And then across. Now I'm adding alizarin crimson with a touch of Prussian blue. Not a lot, just a very small amount because that's a pretty powerful color there. You don't want to make it too dark. And I'm just doing the top corners. Little circular motions, X strokes. Now I'm back into a little more red. Make sure you wipe off your brush every time. And straight down. Keeping that left side fairly dark. All the way down to the bottom. Now I'm taking a soft brush, blender brush, or two inch will work, and just kind of buffing it out, just lifting up very lightly smoothing it out. Tapping my brush every time, making sure I get that excess uh, paint off before I start a new section. Now I've taken a little bit of yellow and I've done some little uh, circular motions in there to create some clouds. Little yellow and white mix and buffing it out with my little blender brush just softening softening the edges little circular motions so now I am going into cad yellow with a touch of white and I'm going to uh, Make that a section in the center there a little bit brighter. That's where the sun is going to be the brightest. Just working that area, pushing in. Got the fan brush loaded there, just pushing it in. 
wiping it off. And I've got my finger <laughs> with a little bit of cad yellow there, just making it a little bit brighter. And angling that off to the left, that sun rays to the left. Just touching here and there just to create some little clouds in there. Now I'm going to pull some rays down with some cad yellow mixed with a little bit of white. Just pull down real light, not very hard. I'm pushing up there. Going to have some uh, rays right there and just bounce it back up to the left like reflection in the water. Just making it as bright as you possibly can because that's a pretty bright sun. So now I'm taking a little bit of that dark cloud color, color the alizarin crimson, with a little bit of Prussian blue, and I'm going to create a little landmass, a little line of trees back there. Fan brush just pushing up, creating some little trees back into the distance. Make it a little darker toward the bottom there. Just, just lifting up a little bit, making some little trees right under that sun. I'm going to go all the way to the left. Just tapping lightly. So I'm going to be making some taller trees way in the back there. You can use a liner brush. Just pull some of those trees up. Not real tall, but just into the sun rays there. You don't have to worry about a lot of detail in them. You can make some little branches if you want, but it's not really going to show. So now I'm taking that dark lizard and crimson with a little bit of Prussian to make some bigger trees on the end and pulling some of that color down into the water to create reflections. So now I'm going to make a little building back there, a little house. Taking my palette knife into some uh, lizard and crimson, maybe a touch of yellow, and I'm going to uh, put the little roof on. And if you can angle your palette knife just right, use a smaller corner there and just kind of gently pull down into a straight little line there to make the shape of that building. A little darker on the left side.
and lighter on the top because the rays are quite strong and, and the reflections on the roof are going to be rather yellow. Just keep trying to shape that little building. It's in the distance, so it doesn't have to be totally perfect. You don't have to have windows or doors or anything like that. You just want to make it look like a little building back there. And you can accent the roof with a little darker color. And the left side, make it a little darker. And highlight the roof, the top there, with some bright yellow and white. And if you can, put in a little tiny yellow spot there for windows, go for it. I'm using a little, uh, kind of a little filbert brush and just softening those lines in there a little bit. And pretty soon you'll have, uh, looks like a little building, little house. You can make the windows a little brighter. Just make sure the left side is more red not, and a little darker because the sun is hitting on the right side of that roof. Putting a little black in there, a little dark, because that's the shady, shady side. And I put a little trees on the right side of it little bushes on the bottom, just a little tap darkness. I did put in another little building in there, same same way, the right side lighter, roof light, and uh, the left side remains dark. And I'm just putting in some dark trees along the side. And pulling down the land there into the water just a little bit. Put in some shadows in the water there. Just working on those shadows. Maybe a little yellow from the windows, light from the windows, reflections. And you can put a little yellow reflection kind of angling up, just like it is in the sky. The sky pretty much mirrors itself into the water, so kind of want to keep those rays going the same way, only opposite on the water. Just working on reflections.
and then gently taking a soft brush and brushing across. You might have to redo the window lights in the water after you do that, but it makes it look really nice. You could even put an upside down house in the water there, just uh, really give it some, like it's real, you know, realistic. And then brush, so softly brushing across so it all blends. And same with the other building. The lighter side reflects in the water too. And brush across. I'm taking a little more time in the water, but it's well worth it. Putting some of that roof color in the for the reflections makes it really stand out at night. Just getting that roof line just right. Okay, so now I'm putting some highlights on the water, the back, the back horizon line. Got a palette knife with a little bit of uh, yellow and white. It's a real light, very light yellow. I'm just putting that water line to define where the where the land and the water meets. Just glide it across. No pressure. Just put a nice roll on your palette knife. And you can use a liner brush too if you uh, have trouble with the with the knife. Just so you get that water line back there. Okay, so now I'm just going to push in, uh, I've got a one inch there, I've got a little bit of yellow, uh, cad yellow with a touch of red, I'm just pushing a little of that at the base there, making some bushes, doesn't have to be real bright, but just, just uh, enough indication there that the sun is hitting. 
Now back to the palette knife again. I'm putting some water lines in. Same color, the light, real light yellow. Yellow, cad yellow with a touch of white. And keep my lines pretty straight. Just going to go across that light reflections. Just put as many as you want in there. That is just to uh, give the water some life. And then take a soft brush and just brush across very, very lightly. Putting some more in there. Notice I do tap my brush. I keep it pretty clean. I don't want to brush across it with uh, some red or red on it because it'll kind of blur it. Putting some more water lines. And I wipe my palette knife off too every time I have to reload. put as many as you want but I think what I've got is just about right and then brush across lightly hardly any pressure at all okay so now I've got my one inch I loaded it up with some of that dark Lizard and Crimson with a touch of Prussian Blue and I'm making a land mass on the bottom. Some bushes and grassy areas just pushing upward. Creating some cool little lines down there. Little grassies and and keep going. You want to you, you want to have those grassies in that sunlit area right at the bottom. It shows up so pretty. And just go all the way across. Take a liner and uh, make some grassies. Here I'm, I've got a filbert and I'm going to put a tree right there. Not a real thick one, just kind of medium, all the way to the top. Taking the palette knife and just tapping it with a little dark color there. Make it look like it has a little bark on it. We'll be highlighting that. Meantime, I'm just kind of defining the edges a little better. So now I have some yellow and red mix. And I'm doing the right side because the sun is reflecting that. So it's going to be a lot brighter. Just go all the way down. And angle the, the trunk of the base there, kind of swooped over.
Okay, so now I, I've got a liner brush and I uh, dipped it in a little black. So I wanted to show, and I'm not making these branches going upward like normal pines. I'm not sure if this is a swamp pine or what kind of a pine tree it is, but the branches are angling downward. And I'm going to make a few on the right side and a few on the left side. Just angling kind of downward, little branches that are hanging there. And you can make as many as you want, but I guess not a lot of, you don't need a lot of them. Kind of make it a little dark areas at the beginning of those branches. Now I'm taking some yellow and white, a light color, and I'm doing just the tops, the tops of those branches. And I've dipped my brush into a little bit of thinner, and then I blowed my brush with some of that yellow, and it should flows right on there. If you have trouble making the paint stick, just dip it in a little thinner. Do the tops. And if you notice, I'm doing the underneath side on the other branches on the left side. Now I'm putting another tree. With some of that uh, dark color. Doesn't have to be all the way up. I'm putting that tree right in between those two buildings. I'm not going to try not to touch either one of those buildings. So. And again, I'm, I'm uh, taking my palette, highlighting the right side with a little bit of yellow and red. Just tapping some color in there. Palette knife works good. You can use a fan brush if you want. But uh, you don't need a lot on there. Going all the way down to the bottom of that trunk. I'm going to have some bushes uh, highlight down there so it'll cover up some of that, the base of the trees. And again, I'm going to put some downward branches that angle downward. some of that darker color, just a few little squiggly things. And highlight with the light yellow on the top part of those branches. And on the other side, the, the highlight is underneath those branches.
So I'm adding another tree all the way to the top of the canvas. All the way down. Tapping again to uh, clarify the edges and with the dark and now I'm adding some highlights, a little bit of yellow and red. And adding some branches. These, these one, this one I'm putting, <laughs> they're going upward, but that's okay. They can go any direction. Angling up, very lightly pulling that liner brush. And if you've got uh, the paint thin enough, it should it should work really well. Now I'm putting some highlights on the underneath side on the left, and on the right or on the top side. Now I've got a one inch and I've got some, uh, it's a little bit of red, uh, red, more red than yellow. I'm just doing a base color there. I'm going to put some uh, leafy things on the ends of some of those branches. I'll be highlighting after this with some yellow, more yellow. But right now I'm just putting in some red with a little tinge of yellow, but not much. Just here and there, I'm putting some brand, uh, like leafy leaves coming off of those branches. Just tapping lightly. Just the ends. So now I am putting a little yellow on. I've got uh, more yellow and just a tinge of red, but I'm I'm just pressing a little bit on those leafy areas just to give it some color. The light's hitting those a little bit. Just going on through all of them. Now I am putting some yellow bushes on the bottom. I've got just straight yellow. Putting in some twigs and little grassies there. Lifting up. You know, I almost see a, fi a finished painting here. I really enjoyed making this one. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you'd like to see more Click the like button and follow, and then until next time, God bless and happy painting.